Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome back to another episode of Production Line. We are, uh, let's see, we are gaining up some cash pretty quickly. It seems like our sales are going very well. Uh, we are not overstocked on too many cars. As a matter of fact, I'm going to increase the markup on our existing models. Uh, and if things slow down, that's not really a big deal. We can afford it. We'll see what happens. Um, research, research is moving along quickly. Uh, we are, oh, that's right, that should bump up our research ability overall, which will be great. Probably going to cost us some money to upgrade the research centers, but I don't think that is going to be uh, too much of a problem. Um, what, uh, wow, look at that, there's an actual gap in our production stuff coming in there. You know what we could do to maybe speed up the import of some of our stuff. Oh, I already did that over here, huh? Alright, well, never mind. I was going to say I could open up one of these lines over here, but mission accomplished. Um, hmm. I suppose I could expand that line into this one. And I could also open up yet another um, line coming in from over there as well. So we're going to have to redo a lot of this stuff here uh, when uh, when I do open up the thing and expand into uh, the neighboring location because that's going to uh, be... Um, uh, uh, what am I trying to say here? Um, there's going to be all these new import bays. A few new import bays anyways. Actually, seems like this one... Pretty much going to be it, right? I mean, I guess I could import stuff from over here, but we're going to have stuff coming in along here. Glad I took a look at that because that really. We've got this one import bay here, but I guess these ones we could bring around and make them work. But I feel like we're going to move pretty much this whole. Maybe we'll leave the. Uh, we, the you know what I mean door panels and windows and mirrors over here but all the rest of this I'm pretty sure we're gonna reroute over into here hmm I don't know hard to say it's been a while since I've gotten that far and uh, things may have changed since the last time we played this seriously anyway but look at that boy oh boy we are not overflowing on the resource importer now, it may be that we're just overflowing on this resource importer now. No, actually, it seems like we got a pretty good balance going on. Great. And I bet you if we install this one, it's going to cost us a little bit of money, but it's not, not the end of the world. Um, although that was like $70,000, wasn't it? I forgot how expensive that is. But we'll connect that up over here like that. There we go. And that'll start bringing some of the... Take a little bit of... Uh, a little bit off of that. Not really all that much, though. Mm. That's all right. Uh, there we go. Research center. So do we? We don't have to do anything. Is that like a new thing that we place? Maybe. So we're not even using print marketing yet. I don't think I need to worry about TV marketing quite yet. Let's get these turbocharged uh, overhead conveyors since we're a third of the way there already. So if we go to facilities, no, nope, research office, and we can't upgrade that. Is it no? Huh. So I wonder what that did. Oh, there we go. Research center. Weird. Oh, much larger. Got it. Okay. Uh, so those would replace... Oh, boy. Money dropping quickly. Cars backing up. Must sell cars. Um, which ones are backing up here? So it's the low... It's the cookie. The vanilla cookie that's really backing up. All right, so I can reduce the, the markup on that for sure, no problem. Let's reduce that down to 20%, see what happens. Get some of those out the door. 
And I probably should start researching some additional features and stuff. So we could uh, try selling um, an even higher markup model car. Uh, but boy, wow, where's our where's our backup? Oh boy, our backup backup seems to be occurring here in the fit wheel assembly. Not really any upgrades. Putting some robots in there, I suppose. But I do feel like we are pushing out as many cars as we can reasonably expect to push out, especially since we're not... Oh, shit! We're not selling them. Let's uh, let's put a sale on. We'd need some money. And I bet you our loan situation has not gotten better. $140,000. Yeah, that's not so great. Uh, we are almost to the end of the hour where we take a financial hit. Um... Uh, how about uh, robots? More robots. That'll be fast. Alright, let's watch this money at the end of the hour. 85,000, 60,000, 45,000. Okay. Well, we survived that, and I think I think we'll start clearing out uh, clearing out some of our cars here. Boy, the... Um, so i got to stop fiddling around with these prices. because that's not helping us out any. Um, but that should help us clear out our stock room, which will get us um, get us uh, additional uh, additional money in here. Um, that would cost me, really, that's it? Just $60,000 to uh, upgrade all the slots? You'd think it would cost more than that. Sure, why not? Let's choose the next research project, which will be even more robots for now, right? What does polished paintwork do? Increase the, uh, oh, that's a new slot. Hmm. I bet you were gonna need turbo drying. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. Now that we've got additional robots, we should be able to get these guys out of here faster. S still insufficient resources, which is frustrating. But it happens. A new loan is available. Probably slightly larger than the last one. Nah, it's about the same as the last one. Uh, still have a lot of time left on paying these off. Um, hmm, actually, on this one, we're... That's weird. Oh, because it's an eight-day loan, that's why. Uh, so we've almost got this one paid off, which will be nice. That'll save us $1,500 an hour. This one's almost halfway paid off. This one's getting close to halfway paid off, so that's nice. It's still going to take quite a while, though. Hey, look at that. We got some of those fancy black cars coming through. Now, does that car not have a moonroof? We should not be having black cars in the vanilla cookie model. How did you not have the uh, colors assigned? Did you just lose your assignments? Oh, and you lost all your color assignments, too. That's weird. Wonder if that's a bug. Like, does it do that? Like, uh, maybe with saving the game and loading the game or something like that, it loses all your color assignments. Not that it really matters, but you know, a little, little bit of color to differentiate the different models. It's just taking advantage of one of the features, is all. Okay, so we, unfortunately. Finances are not really going up like I would have hoped. Um, what does our uh, stock room look like here? So now we mostly have the yeah, mostly have the fall bills in our stock room. I don't remember what the price premium we had on it before. We'll go with 35% and see what happens. And it looks like it's all moving through smoothly down here. So pretty much just here. I probably shouldn't um, do the, uh, you know, everybody gets bonus robots thing on the next one. 
uh, because we're not really, um, we're not, um, not change. We're not advancing. You know what I mean? The, if everybody gets an improvement, the improvement is applied across the board, and it doesn't make any difference that these guys, uh, like that, doesn't speed up the ones that really need to be speed up, sped up. I could break down the fit wheel assembly into its component parts. How does that work out when we look at that? Actually, let's take a look at that. That's under fit engine for some reason. Fit wheel assembly. So that takes six minutes. We could break it down to two minutes, two minutes, and a little over two minutes, which I think right now we have like a three minute per station. So you know what? I think we'll research that next. Um, oh, we didn't research more robots anyways. But you know what? Let's do the drying thing, sure. And we're going to jump over to uh, the uh, uh, thing with the, the wheels. Where did that go? Uh, wheel specialization, great. Research now, that'll be fast. And we'll be able to clear out these two stations and we should be able to put, especially because we have like this kind of weird setup over here. And we're, we're finally starting to accumulate some money again. So we should be able to afford to do that without too many problems. And uh, yeah, yeah it'll, it'll be all right in the long run. It's so weird seeing all these white cars. I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? They're just like flat, you know, like steel, I suppose, is what color they're supposed to be. They're kind of just white, but... And then primer colored cars over here, and then, oh, everything looks so nice when you get down to that side. All right, there we go. So we've got all of the different component things. Um, I really need to worry about. Let's do power plant efficiency. Be able to upgrade our power plants. All right, let's uh, let's slow things down here. And where uh, I was going to stop it in here, so that means I'm going to want to get rid of this block here in a moment. Let's let it move forward. Clear that out. There we go. Great. All right. Now, now we just want to clear all this stuff out. And hopefully this won't cost us too much. We'll be able to uh, be able to, to manage all this without really having to worry about it. There we go. A couple more. Get those out. Very nice. Nice refund for that. Although it doesn't really seem like much of a refund. Looking at my financial situation now. Uh, all right, we're gonna gonna get rid of those actually. Okay, so um, now we need we go from fit exhaust to fit wheel assembly, which is gonna be fit brakes. All right, we'll be able to fit all these guys in a nice, nice straight line. As a matter of fact, let's see, we have one. Two, are they all, uh, oh, and they're all very simple. So one, two, three. Oh, I love it. Okay, so it's fit tires, fit wheels, fit brakes. Oh, look at that, so nice. And uh, then we run, we run a conveyor like that. And then you go like that, and you go like that. You go there and over and down, okay. Uh, and we've already got these connected up to the stockpile, so that's good. Let's go ahead and do the upgrades on these. Robots and predictive stock control. Oh, lots of uh, stuff on this one. All right, great. Okay, unpaused. Now let's see. Now where's your, uh, where's your bottleneck? That's right. Bottleneck is gone. Uh, high output power plants, sixty thousand dollars. Let's do it. Plenty of power now. Although it didn't really seem to give me that much more power, did it? But look at this. So long, bottleneck. Take it easy. Uh, let's set up a research because we're paying for those researchers. Um, try doing some additional body types. 
That might not be a bad idea. Let's do it. Diversify our uh, sales, which uh, should allow us to increase prices a little bit. I think I need to reduce prices again, which is unfortunate. But diversifying the um, diversifying the body types will uh, um, increase uh, scarcity, which should make it easier to sell more cars, hopefully. Um, boy, oh boy, we better start selling some cars because our money is uh, heading down, down, down again. These, the predictive stock control doesn't seem to work very well. Uh-oh. Money. I need you to head up, 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 money, not down. This is not good. Um... Guess we gotta take this loan. Good thing we did, because I just borrowed one hundred eighty thousand dollars. Right. Well, shit. How are uh, how's our stock room looking? It seems to be all Fallvilles in there. So we definitely need to reduce the price on those bad boys. Oh no! Shit! I can't reduce the price. I gotta keep it at mid range. Um, I mean, let's, uh, change the production again, I guess, but, oh boy, we better start selling some of these cars. We're going to be in really bad shape. That would be a, uh, very unfortunate end to our series if we were to go broke after all of the effort and we were doing pretty good you know what I can do to prevent us from going broke is reduce uh, reduce some of our expenses like we're not spending any money on our marketing department so not only did I reduce our expenses I got us some cash back too so <sighs> ah very stressful should not be so stressed out by this game. It's supposed to be simple. Look at this, though. We are working through our backlog very, very slowly. We're not going to get any more loans available to us, unfortunately. That was kind of our last, uh, last gasp at um, making more money. I really don't want to drop our uh, Fallville down out of the... Um, out of the uh, mid-range category. But we are just piling those things up in our stock room. That is all we have in there is Fallvilles. I'm actually gonna go ahead and um, switch it over to just like all vanilla cookies for a while here. Just kind of a bummer, but you know, we. We've got a lot of Fallvilles sitting in our warehouse, not doing anything. And we'll be able to start making the, the new model, or the new body type, assuming that we can uh, survive. Like, we're barely staying above water. But we're going to have another loan payment due here, which is going to take a big chunk of change. Okay, good. I thought we would be very financially stable at this point. And I don't know why our Fallville sales have dropped. Like, they've just gone through the floor. What's going on? Sales per hour. We have nine customers per hour. So, like, why are we not selling any of these anymore? And... We're selling all of our sedans. I can't, I can't lower the price because that will take it out of that, uh, take it out of that category. Oh boy, we almost went broke there. And um, we're very close to going broke again. Ah. Shh. What am I gonna do? I can't really sell power production. Ah, 
<sighs> this is not good, guys. Um. Yeah, what am I going to do here? I need to get some money. I, I don't really want to get rid of... I mean, I guess I, I, I have to. i got to get money somehow. And hope that that's going to... Oh my gosh. Almost all that money I just got, we've already spent. And we're still not selling any of these cars. And we still have fall bills coming off the line. How far back do we have these things coming off the line? All right, money seems to be heading back into positive now. No, we still have them coming off the line. Wow. Um, all right, let's uh, SUV, I guess. Compact, four by four. We'll go SUV. It's gonna take us quite a while to research that now. So we're still. Really? I mean, we do have a quite a backlog down here. All right, that's a vanilla cookie. Vanilla cookie. Vanilla cookie. All right. That's good. I think we're going to be able to make it. Boy, oh boy, that was close. Can't believe. Okay. It's got to stop spending the money as fast as it comes in. That's... Uh, you know, maybe not the best, maybe not the best strategy on my part. You guys, I'm sure would be nice if you would queue up over on this side too. I guess it doesn't really matter, but I could be getting cars through a little bit faster. They are queuing up over here too, so it uh, it would just shift where the back where the bottleneck is. But all right, now we're looking. Now that's more like it. We're looking uh, looking profitable again. I wonder if the uh, um, was it was it just a matter of uh, the prices, like the prices on our uh, on our uh, imports had gone up or something? I don't understand. Oh, that's sorting by all time. Got it. All right. Well. So, component purchases, yeah, uh, well, I guess I, I don't know how many days we are into this, but component purchases seemed extraordinarily high yesterday. Um, so, this is th over the last 30 hours. Uh, no. Um... I know there's a way that you can see the the price of all the stuff that's coming in. Oh, there we go. So it seems like when the stuff coming in is super high, yeah, that's got to be what it is. That's when we're making money. And then when the price of the components and stuff is low, um, Huh. So I guess the the um, moral of that story is like uh, save up uh, save up some money and don't uh, don't spend all your money. Kind of leave leave a little bit of money uh, in the um, you know what I mean. It's like a safety net. But you heard the timer. Maybe you didn't actually last time I listened in. You couldn't hear the timer. But the timer just went off. That means we've reached the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Um, if you have, leave me a comment. Uh, click that like button. I always want to hear what you guys have to say, as long as you're not a jerk about it. Um, uh, but uh, you know, most people are not. So uh, thank you so much. I always, always like hearing from my viewers. Um, yeah, leave me a comment. Click the like button. Thanks so much, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.